In this video, we're going to talk about what is the epoxy primer window time. Hey, this is Donnie, and I had a question on YouTube that I wanted to answer. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've been on here, and I'll talk about that in just a little bit. But I wanted to answer one of these questions as I get back into trying to get to some of your questions here on YouTube. It says uh, from uh, Kalina7259 asks, I'm slowly diving into painting and our primers and paints on my first VW bug restoration. I'm considering the epoxy, but wanted to ask what happens if you don't spray over the epoxy after 72 hours? Will it corrode? Okay, that's a good question. Because in this video I was talking about you got a 72 hour window and it will not corrode. Uh, you know, if you leave it outside for a long period of time, you know, it may uh, corrode because it uh, Primer does not, it does absorb some moisture, but if it's in a shop, it'll last for a long time. But uh, the, the window is talking about when can you respray. So basically, every product has its own window. Uh, you know, epoxy usually has a longer one, like 72 hours, the epoxy I use. Uh, your brand may be different, it may be a little shorter, or it may be longer, some of them are a week. But what that means is that is the time period that you have chemical adhesion. So if you spray your epoxy, you have 72 hours or whatever that window is to come back and put more coatings on without having to sand. If you go past that 72 hours, you lose that chemical adhesion. So you're going to have to pr provide a mechanical adhesion and you do that by sanding. So no, it's not nothing about corroding or anything like that. It's just uh, how long you have where you still have that chemical adhesion and you can spray something on it without sanding. Now, you said you're doing a restoration. I highly recommend, I would use epoxy. Any restoration job, I would do you use epoxy because you know it's the best for that type of job. Uh, Self-etch is better for smaller items, something, you know, maybe production work, but uh, I don't know exactly what all you're doing with this, but if you're gonna sandblast it, uh, have it blasted, you know, I would come back immediately. And remember this, you don't want to touch that metal with your bare hands after it's blasted because that metal is kind of porous and uh, it'll start rusting. Your fingerprint will rust uh, where you touched that. So use some, uh, some type of gloves, rubber gloves or something to handle it. Uh, get it all sprayed, even before you repair any dents or anything. Uh, get it all sprayed in epoxy. And then you can come back. And this is not a fast production type job, so you're probably going to be... Uh, you know, doing it as you go, you know, restoration slower. So at that point, you know, you can, if you're working on a dent and you need to remove some uh, epoxy primer, you know, you, then you can repair that dent. You, you, know, you can re remove the epoxy primer, repair the dent, do what you need to do and, uh, and, and get it repaired. So if you're not uh, sandblasting, you know, I would still get it down, get all the, you know, surface rust off or whatever you need to do. I'm not sure uh, what all you need to do this bug, but I would use the epoxy primer and, and then continue the process, you know, all the dent repair and all that. And then you can put a more epoxy primer on that. But remember, anywhere you didn't sand, like if it's been six months since you, you uh, worked on it, you will have to sand that before you put anything on top of that, even if it's more epoxy primer or whatever, primer surface or what you're putting on, uh, you will need to sand that so it has that, that uh, adhesion. So that is the 72 hour window. F flash time is basically how long you need to wait between coats, putting one coat, how long do you need to wait to put another coat. Windows, how long you have before you can put another coat on without having to sand. A lot of base coats are 24 hours. They're not as long. So let's say you, it was 10 o'clock at night and you got the base coat on. If it's a 24 hour window, you know that you can come in in the morning and apply your clear coat without having to sand it. So that's what the window is. Now a little bit about what's going on with me. So in the last video I talked about I'm moving to Colorado, Denver. And uh, you know, that was you know I had a lot of junk at the house had to sell a lot of stuff and moving is just very difficult you know when you're moving out of state so that kept me tied up I didn't have time to really uh, do any videos I usually in the summers is when I really do a lot of these videos 
uh, but I didn't have time this summer and then I had to move as soon as I moved here you know this is a new program we're starting and you know we're having to order tools you know just everything students showing up and of course right now uh, we are doing it all online with zoom meetings and you know very time consuming it takes more time to do it online uh, than it does in person so yeah everything brand new uh, school district you know of course we use different everything you know different uh, uh, online learning systems uh, so I'm having to learn all their ways I'm having to start a new program and b been tied up but hopefully here before long I'll be able to get back on here and start creating some more videos and answering more of your questions but I do want to give you all a kudos uh, a thank you um, because even though I've been out you have still been watching my videos the, the views have not went down so you, you you know you're still watching my videos I think I'm at a uh, about 98.5 thousand subscribers so getting real close to that 100,000 mark and that'll be exciting when I get there so thank you all for watching so anyway, that is it for this video. I hope that helps answer the question. If not, be sure and leave another comment below. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.